I think most of you are already familiar with notification batching, the concept of notification batching. If you are not familiar with that term, I think by now you might have understood what it is because you can see the illustration on the screen. It's about combining similar notifications into one single notification. It's usually used in social media where there is a chance of generating lot of notifications in a very short period of time. Let's consider the example of LinkedIn. You have announced uh, a post saying that you got promoted. So your friends started commenting on that post. Let's say 50 friends commented on your post in the first five seconds. So what happens here? 50 individual notifications will be sent to all your devices. It's very annoying. Nobody wants to receive 50 notifications in five seconds if that happens there's a high chance that the user will uninstall the app or completely block the notifications from from that app so we don't want that to happen in this video we will talk about the engineering side of a notification batching service the components used the logic and the workflow of notifications going through a notification batching pipeline so there are two approaches in building a notification batching service batch on write and batch on read batch on write is performed at the time of notification generation whereas batch on read is performed when the user tries to read the notification let's look at batch on write let's say people started commenting on your post instead of delivering those comment notifications to the user it's pushed into a batching service that final batch notification is sent to your user but in the case of batch on read all those notifications are pushed into a notification inbox or a notification data store when the user tries to read notifications you fetch the list of all hundred notifications and apply the batching logic then you send the batch notification to the user but in this video we will be looking at batch on write because that's the most commonly preferred approach to batch notifications together so this is the high level overview of the notification batching logic we will be discussing about a time window based batching in this video let's consider the same example of a social network we created a post and one person commented on that post then we have a window period maybe like five seconds or ten seconds so for that particular time period we won't send that notification to the user instead we will push that notification into a queue into a into a batch list and the system waits for you know more notifications of the same type if more notifications are generated within the time window period all of them gets pushed into the batch queue instead of sending uh, it directly to the user so at the end of this this particular window we will simply loop through all those notifications and generate a batched notification content something like anand and uh, you know five others commented on your post and then finally send the batched notification to the user so this is how the time window based batching works now let us go through the diagram so we have a new notification that was generated as a result of a new comment or a new like or any event in your application then the system checks whether an active batch is in progress if it is in progress then we will uh, push this generated notification into the batch list if a batch list is not created then we will simply create one and push this notification to that newly created batch list so what happens once the time window finishes then we will simply you know fetch this list of notifications in the queue in the batch list then process it generate the batch the content and finally deliver it to i mean push it to the notification delivery service or whatever it is in the next stage of the pipeline so let us try to understand how inserting into batch queue works. So all the notification that needs to be batched should be inserted into batch queue. 
or a batch list so we have a new notification then we we will have a function that generates the batching key this batching key is the one that decides whether an active batch list is currently in progress for this notification if not we will create create a new batch list we will check this condition whether the batching key which was generated here using the notification type or any other variable that is used to group those notifications so if a batching key exists then we will simply push that to the batch list otherwise we will create a new batch list and here is another important part if you look click here we are creating a scheduled job with the batch window time so why is this needed if you go back to the previous screen we said that you know at the end of batch window we need to perform a job that uh, aggregates all the notifications that are held in the batch queue so for that we need a job or or a service that executes after that particular window period and and the window period might be different for each of the you know type of notifications so it's it is a dynamic job that is generated at the time of new batch list creation so when we create a new batch list in, in our case maybe a new redis list we will create a scheduled job and the invocation time is set to the batch window time duration so for example if 5 seconds is the window period then after creating the new batch list we will schedule a job that needs to be executed after 5 seconds so after 5 seconds that job is invoked and it starts its execution and the job will pick up you know all the notifications held in that particular batch list identified by the ba unique batch key then it performs the aggregation and you know performs the delivery so that's how um, you know, inserting into a batch queue works for the batch list we can use redis or maybe rdbms uh, and for, for the job we can use either use a scheduled job mechanism in the case of node.js maybe we can use bull mq something like that to create a scheduled job or maybe you can have a cron that you know runs periodically to check if a batched window is available then based on that logic you can fetch those notifications from from the batch and you know perform the aggregation so i made a simple representation of the tables that you can use to store the batches so we need to maintain a table to store the batches and uh, to store the notifications that are pushed to each of these batches right so every batch should have a batch key then created that then the recipient and inside this batch we, we will have uh, you know multiple notifications so each notification will belong to a batch id so this is how we can store uh, the batch the active batch list in in a relational database we can also use uh, redis so what is the function of that batch job that is invoked after the window period that scheduled job so once a batch window, window period finishes it invokes the batch job and then it fetches all the notifications from the batch list identified by that unique batch key and that batch list is completely deleted from the memory or from the you know the database it creates a batched single notification upon processing this list of batched notifications you can create some new variables that will be useful at the time of you know making the copy the content for that batch notification for example one important variable that you will get from here is the number of notifications held in the batch right so that is how we can calculate you know user and 49 others commented on your photo so this 49 count is, is the number of notifications held in the batch queue right and also maybe it makes sense to you know push all these notifications which held in the queue along with the batch uh, batch notification so maybe you know at the receiving end on the front end 
they can go through the list of all these health notifications and maybe they can build a digest email digest or you know things like that so it makes sense to give as much information um, as possible about the batch so yeah once the batch is created it's pushed to the notification delivery service so i hope you understood the concept of building a notification batching engine using an in-memory store like redis and a scheduled job mechanism and i'll be trying to make more videos uh, related to the system design of notifications and related uh, concepts yeah thank you bye